Wait! Who are you? I already told you I don't want to be with you anymore. You, you! Hello world and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm reacting to Colty and Debbie. It's not Colty and Larissa, it's Colty and Debbie because the main focus of this new series is to focus on Colty and Debbie. Anyway, I don't need to introduce them. They are the, the finest of the couples on 90 Days Fiance, so let's get into it. My name is Colt. I'm 33 years old. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, you look so beautiful. I work as a one day in my life I will visit Las Vegas. I used to talk about it all the time in my channel. I just want to visit Las Vegas, take some um, some relics with me from Morocco and then go to Pawn Stars and bargain with Rick. I don't know. I watch a lot of TV. It's kind of cringe. Software engineer and I live with my cats, baby girl, Cookie Dough and Chip. <laughs> that cat is like Hello motherfucker. Cold breakfast. And my mother Debbie. My mother cooks for me, does my laundry and whatever, and she will drink. That's a lot of calories. Now that I start, started counting calories and actually taking care of my diet, when I see a lot of calories, I know a lot of calories. That's not, I, I mean, that's, I, I wouldn't say that's not good. That's not good, but it, if you're not a bodybuilder, that's a lot of calories for breakfast. I mean, to work and pick me up because we only have one vehicle. You could say I'm a bit of a mommy's boy. Hey, mom. Morning. That's okay. I mean, when my when my mom and dad moved in, with I just could have called them parents. When my parents moved in, my mom started doing dishes for me, like cleaning my dishes, and I got used to it for like a while. So when like um, a whole month, she did them, and then starting the beginning of this month, eleven days now, I literally do dishes. So nothing is on the sink, so she wouldn't do my dishes. And I'll just say it's a lot nicer when you take care of your own stuff. How'd you sleep? Good. How about you? Pretty good. Ever since my father passed 10 years ago, we've been very close and we've taken care of each other. We've been Why does he look like his mom and his mom looks like his dad? I don't want to say sweet home Alabama, but they all look the same. May bless your dad's soul, but y'all look the same. Living together more or less since I was born. She loves me with all of her heart. I'm her baby boy and I love her. Baby girl wants breakfast too. <laughs> baby girl has a tendency to join. Baby girl for you, anything I will, I will do for you. I will dance for you. Baby girl, I will love with you. Family here. <laughs> Keep saying we should get a plate for her. Like a little seat. They make cat seats for like that. No. I should invent one. <laughs> <laughs> Colt and I have been having breakfast together for over 30 years. Are you finished? Yeah. Very good. Wait. I definitely spoil Colt by doing everything around the house. I don't think he even knows how to make a bed. <laughs> Her sweater is a cat. <laughs> I thought it was some. Okay, I thought it was some nipple joke or something because I see the dots and I'm like, what? Debbie, and then I see the cat ears now in this shot and I'm like... My spare time, I enjoy fixing things. <laughs> Maybe breaking things more often. I spend most of... I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like... I don't like this at all. I have three cats too. And in my spare time, I fix phones. I don't find this enjoyable. I don't find this fun at all. Why am I reacting to myself? It's kind of weird. My free time alone with my cats. What are you doing? Wanna play video games? You could say I'm more of <laughs> Introvert. I, I, I'm, I'm literally not making this up. It's literally the same controller too. What is... Uh, <laughs> I never thought I would get married. All my previous relationships have ended with me getting a broken heart. After having struck out a few times online with American girls, I thought maybe I could search outside the country, maybe find a girl and then I met Larissa. Okay, I don't relate to you that much anymore, but 
I'm having a breakdown now. I don't like this. <laughs> hey, Larissa Chiquita. lives in Brazil and she's 31 years old. Senorita. No, that's bad. I had sent Larissa a message and to my surprise, she actually responded and we started talking. It wasn't long before I decided I really wanted to meet her in person. So we worked it out and decided to meet in Cancun, Mexico. It seems like Cancun, Mexico is where everything happens. All the shit happens. Every time there's a couple on 90 Days Fiance, where did you meet? Cancun, Mexico. Huh? Cancun, Mexico. Except, well, that one guy got ghosted in Cancun, Mexico, but let me know why Cancun, Mexico is that popular. I know it's beautiful, but is it also cheap? Or let me know in the comment section, because that would be interesting. When I got to the airport in Mexico, Larissa walked around the corner. I saw her in like slow motion. Bro, that doesn't happen in real life. They slow motion shit in movies, but in real life, if you see something happening in a second, it is a second. There is no slow motion. I thought I was having a heart attack. She was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I was like, I'm done. This is it. It was like all the boxes were checked. She's beautiful, she's smart, and she seemed pretty cool with the idea of me living with my mother. After five days, I okay. knew. Do I have to say, living with your parents is not a bad thing at all. Do what you have. It's economically great as long as you're keeping your boundaries. That's all I'm going to say. And I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. So as we were leaving for the airport, I decided to propose to her. And That's an awkward case. It's like, why am I kissing the mic? Okay. I was a little surprised. I'm sure she must have a lot of suitors back in Brazil. But I think that she was looking for someone kind of geeky and maybe she wants to be a little adventurous. Adventurous with you. The only adventure probably has is your own Minecraft server. I don't think you are a person I would describe as adventurous, but... Larissa's K-1 visa was approved and I booked her flight to arrive tomorrow. But Larissa currently does not have her visa in hand. Uh, I just have one question. Who approves these visas? What are the criteria for your approval? Why do you keep approving visas? Hi. Hey. I miss you. I miss you too, honey. You look so beautiful tonight. Thank you. <laughs> you look handsome. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> but just to be careful with your bangs. <laughs> well, it's been a very long ah. day, darling. <coughs> a few moments later. I I don't have my spray. I don't have my cream spray. Oh no, these are. Yeah. Honey, tell me please. The the visa. Did you get it? It's the nicknames for me. Honey, darling. No, I need to say it like he's a darling, honey. <laughs> okay, I stopped cringing. I apologize. Unfortunately, not yet. I think that you have to pick the, the next fly, but you can. We have no guarantee of the visa to arrive tomorrow or Monday. I can't, I can't make a ticket, have the change fee, and make another ticket. You understand? It costs money, a fee, to do so. I see, but uh, a lot of money or less money? Money is money. Like There is no a lot of money, uh, less of money. It is still money and it will cost you honey. I don't know. Money is money. I don't think it's smart to get a flight ticket before your visa is even there. They're just stupid. Well, it's it's going to be a healthy amount, a healthy size. View your breakfast proportion. What is a healthy size to you, Colty? I think Larissa has a false understanding of life in America. Not everyone is a millionaire. Maybe she thinks I just have a lot of money in the bank or under the mattress or something. The only logical solution is to delay the trip. A lot of people have the misunderstanding of if you're American, you're probably are loaded. Especially for like such a short time, it doesn't make any sense. To me, it makes sense because I wish I could be with you. I know but you don't have your visa. Okay, I, I, I almost said Damas, but you don't have your visa. What do you expect? A flight ticket is not going to change that. You're disappointed and I'm very sorry for that, but... You want to, but you hurt me because I thought that you will feel like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm sad. I'm sad. I need Larissa here. I make plans with her. I did make plans. And you are so rational, like... What do you want me to do, cry? Larissa is the type to complain. Oh, 
Oh my god, Colty, I don't like the shape of the clouds today. It's all your fault. The type of person who would flush a fart. I roll up in a ball and cry and go to bed weeping, writing my diary and how sad I am, but it's merely a week, probably less than a week. We've been apart for a very long time. Why is he putting this, like, I, I want to say the word but pedo voice like hey it's just gonna cost a little bit of time it's okay darling it's okay sweetie it's just wait one week until you're 18 that's not i don't think rescheduling for a few hours is reasonable i think waiting an extra few days is more logical and yeah, a better yeah. solution to our problem i agree with you i'm quite tired but i'm kind of hurt we have a lot of similarities Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know if I should continue this uh, Colty and Debbie series. I am going to make a genius submit video and then a Big Egg, a Rose video that I still have to edit. I might give up on Big Egg, the Rose, to be honest. It's kind of dead, but let me know what you think in the comment section. I know this video is not as long as my other ones, but it is what it is. I have to be somewhere else. And it's better that I make it than not making it at all. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.